but the normally blue Nasdaq drenched in a different color today. Magenta as T-Mobile rang the opening bell today. The wireless giant reported third quarter earnings. A miss on both the top and bottom line. T-Mobile is trading down about 6 percent, but the stock is still a winner. It's up 43 percent year over year. I caught up with CEO John Ledger in Times Square. We here just pulled the in-your-face move of dumping the New York Stock Exchange to list on the Nasdaq. Look. Big rivalry. Nicey Nasdaq, you switched. Why did you switch? Well, we switched for a couple of reasons. One is I think it's you know, more consistent with the disruptor and innovator that we are. Secondly, we're going to get a piece of business from the NASDAQ out of this for T-Mobile. And third, I would be shocked if in December when they picked the NASDAQ 100 that you wouldn't see a little company called T-Mobile sitting in it. So okay. outside of those, it's closer to my apartment. So the, <laughs> well, speaking of switching, you got 2.3 million new subscribers to switch. However, you missed on your top and bottom line. Which part are we supposed to focus on as yeah. shareholders? Well, we didn't miss on our top and bottom line. There are, you know, there's some expectations that are being sorted out. Uh, the compares were hard to understand. We had service revenue growth of 11 percent, 42 percent adjusted EBITDA growth to 1.9 billion, and we raised our guidance of subscribers will add for the rest of the year, but kept profitability the same. Color us really happy and in line with what we thought we should do this quarter. So why do you have to needle your competitors? Wait, uh -huh. you painted a plain <laughs> magenta. Pretty good, you huh? send it up over Verizon's wireless business right. in New Jersey, of yep. all places, and you, you sky right over it and overages now. We think overages, you know, are a, a major problem, especially for those that can't afford it the most. And we called on the whole industry to abolish overages as a practice. We put a uh, petition on change.org, which is now the biggest technology uh, petition ever. And we committed, if over 250,000 people signed, we would let them pick what we would do. 330,000 people signed, and they chose from a wonderful list uh, that we would sky right on top of their buildings and over. Just you guys just came in fourth at a network survey, and I'm just wondering how you get your, your network a little yeah. bit stronger, a little bit better. From one year ago, at the end of this year, we will have added a million square miles of LTE, and we also made it clear that in the auctions that are taking place in Washington in the first quarter, we're going to play hard. If it's not AT&T trying to get you, buy you, it's Sprint SoftBank. If it's not Sprint SoftBank, it's some French telecom. If it's not them, now there's an educated guess out there that Comcast may buy you guys. All right, that's Com a good Listen, the cable industry needs to go mobile, and you can see that change taking place. And then the old school carriers are trying to go the other way. But you'd want to be in charge if somebody took you over. Uh, I want to do the right thing for my customers and for, I'm trying to change an industry, and you know, we, we'll look at all alternatives. So let me do a quick word association, quick questions oh, in a row. dangerous. I say Sprint, you say? Sucks. I say Blackberry, you say? Uh, still in trouble. Is Samsung's phone business in trouble, John? Uh, I, you know, Samsung's phone business is not in trouble. I think Samsung's got an, an awful lot of work that they're doing on the marketing. They make a beautiful device. The new products that they've come out with are fantastic. And, and we have a gigantic base of Android customers driven by Samsung. So I I'm a big Samsung fan. Is anybody in a position to beat Apple iPhones? Um, oh, Apple's a machine. Uh, so I, I would say the ecosystem of Apple is extremely important and they continue to innovate. And I think Apple's the most dominant company we've seen in our time. Will you surprise to the upside next quarter? Q4 is off to a great start. We're going to make all our commitments for the year. So, you know, your question has to do with versus something that I can't figure out. Will you really spend 10 billion, up to 10 billion on Spectrum next year? Yes or no? Uh, yes. Why magenta? Mangenta. 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 You are the ultimate salesman. What is the trick? Uh, sell every second of every day. If you had to sell me these nuts, and I hate these nuts, let's just say, what would you say? Oh, I tell you, look at this wide assortment of nuts, including the one on the left. It's a perfectly healthy alternative to the ones on the right. Give you a great deal and a price. And if you don't like them, I'll let you switch to the others with no contract. Mets versus Royals. Oh, Mets, come on. I'm like every other Yankee fan that's making believe this week that we always love the Mets. Yeah, he's all Mets. Let me just be clear here. He said he'd be open 
to possibly doing some type of link up with Comcast because he wants what's best for his customers. And if that is deemed what's best, watch out for it. So we wanted to mention that that is certainly newsmaking. And we've got a lot more with T-Mobile CEO John Ledger. You know, you got to admit, he's one of the most uh, colorful CEOs that we have uh, often had on this show. CEO John Ledger. It's a Liz web exclusive. And we talked about a lot more. You need to go on. Check it all out for the entire interview. Liz Clayman.com.